Good morning students. Let's start SAS congruence criterion. SAS means side angle side congruence criterion. See two sides and this angle is included. Included angle. Okay. So if under correspondence two sides. See angles two sides. Under correspondence. If under correspondence two sides. See this side. And this side, and the angle included between. Now these are the two sides. So which is included angle? This angle will come included angle. Okay. These are the two sides, and this angle will come included angle between these two sides. Okay. Included angle, angle included between them of a triangle are equal to the corresponding. These are equal to the corresponding. Sides and equal to the corresponding sides and the angle corresponding sides. Suppose both these sides correspond with this side. Okay, two corresponding sides, two corresponding sides. So this side correspond with this side and this side correspond with this side. Two corresponding sides and the angle included between them. This angle is included between these two sides and angle between included them. Of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent by S A S criterion. Understood? So two corresponding sides of these triangles and included angle. If it is equal to the two corresponding sides with another triangle and included angle, then these both the triangles are congruent by which criterion? Side. Angle side by which criteria? Side angle side. So understand what is S A S congruence criterion? If under correspondence two sides and the angle, two sides and the angle included between them is included between the two sides that angle of a triangle are equal to the two corresponding sides and the angle included between them of another triangle. Then the triangles are congruent. So this, what it shows, this criteria it shows two sides and one included angle. If it is equal with the corresponding two sides and included angle of another triangle, then that two triangles are congruent with S A S criterion. Okay, now we will see one example. Now see here, these are the two triangles are given. Okay, now in this two triangles, see this is triangle A B. And this is D E F. These are the two triangles, and we have to see these both the triangles are congruent or not. Okay, so triangle A B C and this is triangle D E F. Okay, now if you will see A B is equal to E F will come. Why? See A B. Is equal to E F. Here you will not write A B is equal to E D. See because see A B is seven centimeter and E F is seven centimeter means both of them have same measurement. So why? Because both is equal to seven centimeter. Both of them have seven centimeter measurement. A B is equal to A F is equal to seven centimeter. So this both the sides are equal. Then. Then what we can see BC BC is equal to DE or ED we can say BC is equal to DE both of them have what, how much measurement five centimeters so BC is equal to DE why? Is equal to five centimeter. Both of them have five centimeter measurement. Okay. Now after this, after this, if you will observe, now in this, see this. So this both the sides, this both the corresponding sides. See this side and this side equal. This side and this side is equal means both the triangles corresponding these two sides are equal. Okay. Now see. This both the sides I have explained you. AB is equal to EF. AB is equal to EF. 
both are equal both of them have same measurement 7 cm then bc is equal to de bc is equal to de both of them have same measurement 5 cm okay now we just include an angle in this c in this both the side b is included angle yes so angle b is equal to angle e angle e yes this angle angle b is included angle between these two sides okay angle b is included angle between these two sides and angle e is included angle between these two sides and each of them have same measurement c 50 degree so is equal to 50 degree so these angles are also equal so two sides and included angle yes what is congruence criterion of this if under correspondence two sides two sides and the angle included between them of a triangle are equal to the two corresponding sides and the angle included between them of another triangle then the triangles are congruent so these two triangles are congruent okay so these two triangles are congruent but with which criteria these are congruent side angle side so this these are the equal parts it has shown also now what we can show the corresponding parts also we can show a a correspond to f c a is correspond to f then b is correspond to e b is correspond to e and c is correspond to d c is correspond to d c in this a correspond to f c b a a b a b is 7 so e f is 7 e f is 7 so here b is correspond to e so a correspond with f will come okay b correspond with e will come and then c correspond with d will come okay so these are the corresponding parts okay so now this both the triangles are congruent or not this both the triangles are congruent by which criteria s a s so triangle a b c congruent f e d will come don't try d e f what will come f e d because c congruent triangle f e d because a correspond to f b correspond to e and c correspond to d because see this side and this side are not corresponding sides see these are these so if you will see b is 50 degree e is 50 degree so a and f will come correspondence b and e will come correspondence and c and d correspondence so triangle a b c congruent triangle f e d this both the triangles are congruent by which rule by which rule s a s congruence rule or s a s congruence criterion s a s congruence congruence rule by which rule s a s why because see two two sides and included angle okay two sides and included angle okay so these both the triangles are congruent by s a s congruence rule now let's learn a s a congruence criteria a s a means angle side angle means here two angles are in and included side will come okay two angles and included side okay if under the a correspondence two angles and included side of a triangle are equal to the two corresponding angles and the included side of another triangle then the triangles are common see what it is given if under a correspondence two angles and included side see these are the two angles and this is included side yes two angles and this is included side okay side of a triangle of this triangle are equal to the two corresponding angles and the included side of another triangle then the triangles are congruent understood two corresponding angles are included
are equal to the two corresponding angles and included side then that both the triangles are congruent now let us see this both the triangles are congruent or not okay now see if you will see here angle in this triangle a b c angle a is equal to angle now which angle will come in this triangle this angle a is equal to with which triangle it will come angle f okay angle a and angle f why they are equal which of them have 40 degree measurement so a is equal to 40 degree angle a is equal to angle f because both of them have 40 degree measurements okay now next angle b a is equal to angle e yes why because angle b how much degree it is 60 degree and angle e in this triangle angle e is 60 degree so is equal to 60 degree so this both the angles are equal with this both the angles of these triangles both the angles okay now included side within this both the angles which is included side side a b in this both the angles side a b is the included side yes this side so how much it is a b a b is equal to e f Okay, AB is equal to EF or FE. Anything you can write. AB is equal to EF or FE. FE also correct. Why? Because both of them have 3.5 centimeter. Okay, means if you will see two angles of this triangle and included side. Two angles of this triangles and included side are equal to the two angles of another triangle and included side. So, these both the triangles are congruent with which criteria? Angle, side, angle. With which criteria? Angle, side, angle. Okay. So, now these both the triangles are congruent. These both the triangles are congruent. Which? Both the triangles are congruent. Triangle A, B, C congruent. Now, how name will come? C. This correspond with this angle. Okay. So, F. Triangle F. C. Triangle F. F means with which? F is correspond with A. Okay. Then B is correspond with E. F. E. D. With triangle F. E. D. Triangle A. B. C. Triangle A. B. C correspond with Triangle F E D. Triangle F E D. Why these both the triangles are congruent? With which criterion? Angle, side, angle. Okay. These both the triangles are congruent. With which criterion? A S A congruence rule. Congruence rule. Okay. With which criteria or ASA criteria. You can say here ASA congruence criteria. Okay. Angle, side, angle. Two angles and included side of this triangle are equal to the two angles and included side of this another triangle. So, these both the triangles are congruent with ASA congruence criteria. Okay.